में एटी में ये फिश के साथ तो वी स्लेप्ट लेट सो गॉट अ ब्लेट टू नाउ वी आर हेडेड टूवर्ड्स हेडेड टूवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू लश टू हैव लंच टूवर्ड्स अंजुना और उसके बाद वील गो टू बागा देन वील बी गोइंग टू अटेंड द कॉन्सर्ट इन द इवनिंग सो दैट्स द प्लान आई विल पुट द हेलमेट कैम ऑन द बाइक फॉर नाउ होप यू एन्जॉय द वीडियोज क्लासिक थ्री फिफ्टी इंजन से भी स्टार्ट तो ये कम बैक टू द रेड में यानी बैक टू जस्ट टू क्लिक फ्यू पिक्चर्स एंड टेक सम शॉट्स एंड देन वी गो बैक फॉर गो बैक टू ईट समथिंग हाउ इज इट यू ट्राइड इट हां नाइस दिस इज कितने का ये for fucking divine you want to hit divine yeah vivian my brother man i'm so proud of him this thing is a gentleman it's divine ji to bahut mast hai acha में में ये ये फिश के साथ राइस दो दो करी एक करी एक वेजिटेबल साइज अच्छा सो वी हैड प्लेस प्लेस ना दिस इज़ जस्ट साइड गराज कैफे गराज कैफे in goa I forgot the name of this place uh, we've come here for lunch It's a decent place uh, food is good ambience is also good it's an upbeat location
ये जगह का नाम क्या है लोलो रोसो। लोलो रोसो। अंजुना अंजुना और बागा के बीच में इंडियंस इज ऑल्सो गुड आई थिंक एट नाइट इट विल बी बेटर देर वॉशरूम वॉज एक्सलेंट वॉशरूम वॉज एक्सलेंट तो यार आज का भी प्लान हमारा यही है विल जस्ट रिलैक्स संतोष इज लिविंग टुडे फॉर बैंगलोर ही हैज अ फ्लाइट इन द इवनिंग सो इट विल बी चेतन एंड मी या फॉर द लास्ट डे टुमारो वी आर लिविंग बैक फॉर बैंगलोर Good morning, guys. Hope you are doing fine. It's around eight o'clock in the morning. We are in the hotel that we are staying right now. It's Monday today, so we are returning back to Bangalore. So today we are going to do a total of uh, around 650 kilometers, and we'll be targeting to do it in 12 hours. Our other riders have already gone. They left early in the morning. This is the place that we stayed. Here, up there, is a cafeteria. You get food and drink, good food and drinks, or under, sare rooms hai, upper. The place, this uh, hotel ka naam hai Seven Seas. Uh, rooms are average, but uh, the service is good. And also the food. Half of our riders are staying there, half here. Bike is all set. Costed me around four thousand, I guess. But a very nice bag. It has all the all the fitting tags along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The bus, ten bikers, bachu hai. And it's already nine forty-five. Abhi ta hamlo nikle ne, kyunki ham to ready the eight thirty tak, but. बाकी सारे राइडर्स रेडी नहीं थे ड्यू टू विच वी आर लेट नाउ वन नाइन थर्टी पहुँचते हैं कितना देर में बट वी आर ऑल सेट टू लीव नाउ चार बार मुझे फुल फ्यूल टैंक करना पड़ा इन एट हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स अभी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फाइव बार शोइंग ओके Bike has become very heavy on the back because of the additional items that we we are carrying from Goa. But this bike has enough power to handle any additional weight, so that's okay. So this is the famous Love You Zindagi road, or <laughs> you can see all the amount of crowd. For people clicking photos, kid taking a shit. Bad traffic. We left too late. and we just have to ride in traffic all the way i think
Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss. So we mostly ride in formation like this, uh, try to maintain a convoy. The the guy in the front, when he passes, few more bike passes than all the uh, vehicles around, we'll expect more bikes uh, to come in. So usually they give way, uh, we can pass freely. There's uh, no one coming in between these bikes, so it also helps maintain our speed. Another benefit is the navigator is the first guy so he has the navigation system uh, the map on the phone all of us don't need to keep navigators on phone you know so we can just concentrate on the ride follow these guys and you'll be on the right path and we all got dreams we all want things but what you gonna do for how you gonna move for what you gonna be and do you believe we can do anything but what you gonna do for how you gonna move for what you gonna be guys let me talk about this helmet that um, i bought before this ride this is the axor apex helmet i bought the solid black color and um, yeah so i bought the solid black color and just a, a quick review on this helmet this is supposed to be a touring helmet okay first negative thing is this helmet is heavy all right so who is it meant for if you have a bike where your sitting posture is straight like a himalayan you can wear a heavy helmet because your spine is basically straight so it can uh, bear the weight of the helmet okay but if you are riding a bike like an interceptor without modifying the handlebar nothing so uh, the angle at which your body is this is the backbone like this and the head is straight so it's the body angle is like this you'll start uh, getting strained at that waypoint okay if you are on a continental gt or an interceptor you should definitely not go for this helmet for touring because uh, your body angle is lean and the helmet is on the heavier side so you will start getting uh, spraining your neck basically second most thing for touring is uh, noise insulation if i have to compare it with another helmet i would compare it with uh, with a basic studs helmet the noise level is equivalent to a studs helmet so that's number two uh, for touring if you want a quiet helmet don't go for this the next point is some helmets that have double triple lining inside their shell size becomes bigger because there's a uh, there's a lot of padding inside also if there's a dual visor right uh, dual visor means there's a sun visor inside so that is retractable so they need to leave a little bit of space for that so that makes shell size bigger so this helmet has a big shell size your head will look bigger than your body so that's another thing to note down next point is i talked about the visor uh, the visor that they have given in this helmet is not usable it's uh, it's of very low quality so bad that the the vision is distorted it is made of cheap quality uh, glass or i think it's of plastic so 
basically i'm not using the sun visor i have bought another visor that is in mirror finish so i'm using that during the day or you can use sunglasses next point is the padding so if uh, if i compare the padding with the same range of helmet that is the smk helmets okay they come in the same price range this has better padding than the smk the smk is uh, padding especially around the cheek is less it doesn't give you a snug fitting basically so yeah the the padding for this price range is good uh, i don't think you'll find it in any other helmet uh, at this price range the price range is 4000 okay this this helmet comes for 4000 i bought it for 4000 and and an additional visor for 1000 that is a total of 5000 the visor for this helmet is again expensive compared to smk's uh, you'll get an smk visor for 500 but for axe or epic starting from 800 the one that i have it's uh, it costs 1000 bucks so that's about that's another downside if you want to add uh, visors this is basically a touring range but they have not focused on things that a tourer wants It's 11:30 now. We just crossed the Karnataka check post, or uh, we stop for a quick break here. So this is the helmet I'm talking about. Okay, the Axor Apex. Ah, what's that? Thank you. Hey guys, so this is. Axor Apex, ठीक है, glossy black with this visor, mirror finish. Twelve o'clock. It's time to leave. Still just waiting for a train just crossed, but looks like there's another train coming up. The roads are absolutely beautiful, but so far so good. We are having good time. One o'clock. Let's see where we have reached. For seventy-four kilometer more. Let me see how much we've done till now. One forty done. 
in we left by 10 30 11 30 12 30 two and a half hours we took not sure why we took so long we've taken two breaks till now but i was doing decent speeds so it shouldn't be taking so long o'clock in the afternoon we've uh, come here for lunch the only place that we found on way throughout our journey there's only one non-veg or a decent veg or a restaurant we've done around 350 kilometers already and this is the place enjoying the ride until now petrol bank bhi nahi mil raha tha humko uh, we just found one after so many kilometers matlab bike almost dry ho gaya tha uske baad hi mil gaya to ek ghanta humne lunch kiya sunset hone wala hai maza aa gaya our ride is getting over and uh, ab next ride will not be for another 2 months ये ही गम है आज मंडे है तो इस कारण से ट्रैफिक बिल्कुल ही नहीं है तो हम आराम से जा रहे हैं हमने अभी आई थिंक बेंगलोर के लिए 300 किलोमीटर मोर होगा चित्रदुर्गा में स्टॉप लेंगे क्योंकि अब थोड़े देर में अंधेरा हो जाएगा सो आई हैव टू चेंज माय वाइजर गोवा में मैंने ज्यादा कुछ दिखाया नहीं क्योंकि गोवा में यूजुअली हम क्या करते हैं घूमते फिरते हैं खाते हैं पीते हैं रात को जाके सो जाते हैं तो वही हमने भी किया कुछ खास नहीं किया गोवा में आ, एक दो जगह द प्लेसेस दैट आई लाइक्ड दैट आर वर्थ विजिटिंग फॉर फूड मैंने ऑलरेडी वीडियो में वो मेंशन कर दिया है सो या दोस प्लेसेस आर वर्थ giving a visit for now i'm just enjoying this moment jaise jaise hum bangalore ke paas ja rahe hain temperature down ho raha hai aur thand bhi lag rahi hai thodi thodi kafi riders mile hain on the way bahut sare आप नॉर्मल नहीं दे रहे हो इसमें है ना नॉर्मल है हां हां नॉर्मल है हां पंप प्रॉब्लम पंप प्रॉब्लम और कंप्लेंट बुक भी आप नहीं दे रहे हो कंप्लेंट बुक किधर है नया बंक ओपन कर रहा है हां क्लोज होगा तब बंक अभी रिसेंटली ओपन कर रहा है तो कंप्लेंट बुक आपके पास नहीं है ना ओके गाइस इट्स 8:00 एंड वी हैव रीच्ड बेंगलोर आई एम अबाउट टू रीच होम आई लव दिस राइड एंड आई होप यू लाइक्ड इट टेक केयर